Salut Year 8 et bienvenue au Carpo Jadi. Right guys, I hope you're all well and looking forward to today's lesson. We are moving on to the second bullet point today, but it links in really closely so we can talk about people's personalities and what we think of them. We're going to add how to say who you get on with in your family. So we'll be revising family from year seven. We'll be revising our personality adjectives that we've looked at for the past two lessons, but we'll be adding our relationships. So who we get on with, who we argue with, who we don't get on with, who we <laughs> bicker with all the time. You'll be learning these key phrases today. That is what it's all about. So let's make a start. Alors mes petits, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire. Dans les cahiers, s'il vous plaît, copiez les lettres. Que payer le titre du genre et pour le contrôle de, de post-it, c'est un peu différent. Il faut traduire les mots en français. Comment dit-on? My sister is quite kind. My brother is very kind. Attention au mot kind parce que ça va changer pour masculin et féminin. Put me on pause. Get the date and title in your book and have a go at this post-it note challenge. When you think you're ready, restart me and I'll go through the answers. On y va mes petits. Hello, my pretty. So, if you're listening to me now, you've got the date and title in your book, and you've had a go at our post-it note challenge. Let's just develop on what we're doing then. So, as I said in the in the in the warm-up, we're putting out the adjectives we've been looking over the past few lessons together with the revising families from year seven, and we're talking about who we get on with, which is what our title says. Tu t'entends bien avec qui? Says who do you get on with? Now this comes from module one of year 10 it's a huge part of the gcc i've asked hundreds of year 11s this is part of their speaking exam and we do it in year eight and then we build on it in year 10 so what you learn today could be will be for some of you in your gcc speaking exam so it's really important let's get going let's start with our uh, control de post-it so my sister is quite kind say ma soeur est assez gentille did you get both parts? We're going to talk about this today. We're going to talk about why it's ma soeur for feminine. And then gentil is a regular. So you don't just add an E, it's an L E at the end. If you got that, if you got both parts, I'm very impressed with you, bon effort. Numéro deux, my brother is very kind. Okay, so we've got to change some things. The ma is now masculine. So it changes to mon, frère, et, très. And then gentil changes to gentil. Et voilà, mon frère est assez... Oh, je suis très... Mon frère est très gentil. Et voilà, well done if you got these two. We're going to be revising these adjectives. We're going to be revising the mon and ma. We're going to look at all of this today. But first, before we revise anything, I want to see what you can remember and what you know. Donc, la prochaine activité, je vais expliquer en français. Alors, mes petits, donc, pour la première activité, c'est facile ici. Dans la boîte bleue, on a le vocabulaire. La majorité de mots, vous avez déjà vu, mais il y a certains qui sont euh, les nouveaux vocabulaires. Et donc ici, vous avez les mots en français. Ici, vous avez les, les mêmes mots en anglais. Il faut trouver la paire entre le français et l'anglais. Donc, dans ma famille, il y a, ça c'est de la révision de Yes 7 c in my family, there is easy. Alors, vous avez deux minutes aujourd'hui, mes petits. Deux minutes. Et aujourd'hui, je veux six. Huit, ce sera très fort. Dix, dix, ce sera incroyable. Vous avez aussi la défi additionnelle ici. En utilisant les mots ici, il faut traduire la phrase en uh, français pour moi, s'il vous plaît. Donc, set a timer on your phone for two minutes, mes petits. And then when two minutes is over, restart the video. We'll have a little look at these answers. Don't forget our extra challenge. Vous avez deux minutes. Bon courage. Toi, deux, un. Allez, on y va. Allo, mes petits. If you can hear me now, then you're ready for answers. Let's have a look at what you've got. Alors, prenez les stylos rouges pour moi, s'il vous plaît, et donnez une note sur 10, et je veux 6 et plus, je serai content pour ça. Alors, donc, on y va. Le premier, on a déjà fait, dans ma famille, il y a, veut dire, I, et ma famille, there is, et donc, un synonyme, on peut dire, dans ma famille, j'ai, et ma famille, I have, easy. Alors, numéro 3, 4, 5, c'est de la révision pour les derniers modules, alors, je le trouve is I think he is or I find him. Je la trouve is I think she is or I find her. Et je les trouve, c'est J, I find them easy. Alors, numéro 6, 
assez généreux, généreuse, ça veut dire A, quite generous, extrêmement poli, veut dire F, extremely polite, toujours caspier, remember this word, caspier, it's how you say, annoying, so it's D, always annoying, or annoying all the time. Attention, people always use ennuyeux for an annoying, and I don't know why, I think it sounds a bit like annoying, ennuyeux, but ennuyeux means boring, use caspier. Alors, il y a deux qui restent, numéro 9, je me dispute avec, et numéro 10, je m'amuse avec. Alors, je me dispute avec, c'est G, I argue with, think about this, if you have a dispute with someone, you're in an argument with them, et numéro 10, je m'amuse avec, means like, I have a good time with, or I have a laugh with. Et voilà, mes petits, I only wanted six, give yourself a mark out of how many you've done here. I think this is pretty straightforward today, I expect loads of you had a go at our extra challenge. Donc, comment dire, I argue with my brother, I find him very annoying. C'est, je me dispute avec mon frère, je le trouve très Caspier. Guys, two bonus marks available for this. I'll give you one if you got it perfect to mon frère and another if you get all the way to the end. Bon effort, mes petits. This is our language for today and it looks like you already know it. But, I have a quick question for you. Je me dispute avec. Je m'amuse avec. Where have you seen this before, this me, before the verb? You know, remember, one of the very first things you learn <laughs> when you started learning French, was my name is, or I call myself. I just say, my name is Sean. Je m'appelle Sean. You see? Je m'appelle. So what does that end mean? Ah, we're about to find out. On y va? A bit of grammar to talk to you about first year eight. Et voilà. Three must knows for today. All of these come up in GCC module one, so we need you to know them now so you can build your knowledge when you get up to year 10. So the first one, what are the three words for my, your, his and her? You might know the three words for my already. Think about it. Number two, what's a reflexive verb and what does it mean? And then three, what happens to the endings of reflexive verbs? All these are our key questions for today. You've got to know them. On commence. Alors, let's start with the most important thing for today, which are called possessive pronouns. That's the official name for them. That just means how you say my, your, his, her, or their, something you possess. Now, in English it's easy because they say my, your, his or hers, and then their, but in French it's different because for my, there's three ways to say it. For your, there's three ways to say it. Why is there three ways to say it? If you can't answer that, you're not paying attention looking at this screen because in French, everything is either, all nouns are either masculine, feminine, or plural. So if you want to say my pen, you need to know if the word pen, I'm holding a pen by the way, uh, is masculine or feminine, is say mon stylo, ma gomme. And this is why you've got to get the right gender for things. So this is how to say my, your, his, her, or their. And there's an easy rhyme to learn it. Listen up, go after me. It goes, mon mamé, ton tate, son sassé, le le leur. I'll do it again. Mon mamé, ton tate, son sassé, le le leur. See how fast you can do it. Mon mamé, ton tate, son sassé, le le leur. That is pretty good. All right, I can go even faster. Check this out. Hang <coughs> on. I'm breathing too sharp. Mon mamé, ton tate, son sassé, le le leur. Boom. That's what I want you to do. You need to know this, this one. Well. Now remember, it's not about whether you're masculine or feminine. It's the thing you're describing. So if I'm talking about my mom, my mom is feminine because she gave birth to me. So it'll be ma mère. But my dad is masculine. Mon père, mon ma me. You've got to get this right, guys. Learn the rhyme. Make sure you know mon mamé ton tati son ça c'est le le le. Et voilà, right, guys. Put me on pause. Have a little go at this. Revise your family members. Can you remember how to say these and pick the right one? Is it going to be mon for masculine, ma for feminine, or me for plural? You need to pick the right one. Put me on pause. See what you can do. On y va. Allons mes petits, right guys. So this should have been quick. Let's see what you've got. It should be mon frère because your brother is masculine, ma soeur because your sister is feminine, mes frères when it's plural, mon, ma, me. So his brother, you need one of these. His brother, one brother, and obviously his brother's masculine, so it is son frère. His brothers, now it's gone to plural, so you need the plural for his or her, which is ses frères, and then their mother, leur mère. Voilà, mon mamie, ton tante, son sassé, le, le, leur. 
easy street now this is easy but people get it wrong learn this off by heart it's simple i don't mean fifty. so first one ticked off do you know all three words for this test yourself now all this one's done let's have a look at this posh bit of french called a reflexive verb now you've seen this in year seven when you say je m'appelle it's one of the very first things you learn in french but it's actually very advanced french when you say je m'appelle you're literally saying i call myself or i myself call it's called a reflexive verb now all a reflexive verb is right it's just a verb with a little bit of an extra part that adds myself or yourself to it now we do have them in english but not as much as french let me give you an example you're right if i said to you this morning i got up um i brushed some teeth uh brushed teeth this morning and then uh, I, I ate breakfast what's wrong with that i brushed teeth i ate breakfast it's fun isn't it what impression does it give you if i say i brushed teeth this morning gives the impression that I brushed someone else's teeth yeah I brush teeth you don't say I brush teeth you say I brush my teeth brush your teeth I brushed my teeth you never say brush teeth because without the my it's not clear whose teeth you're brushing and you should only brush your own it's weird to brush someone else's so really weird so that's what you need to remember now that's one example in English in French you have it a lot more and all our verbs today when you say you I get on with or I argue with, you need a little extra bit to say myself. I get myself on well with. I get myself into arguments with. You've got this extra bit known as reflexive verb. And all it is, is you put a word before the verb to say this is myself, yourself, his or herself, ourselves, yourselves themselves so all we need to know is this little bit in front of the verb all you need to know in your eight is this little bit in front of the verb means myself or yourself or his self so in french you'll say i argue get into arguments myself with you get yourself into arguments with so that's why you have this extra bit the the bit it looks weird is you say new twice so this would be new new disputant we argue together so you need both bits what happens to our verb ending when we talk about others year eight? Our verb ending ch -ch -ch changes and that still happens. It's a normal verb. The only thing that changes is you have an extra bit here to say myself or yourself in front of the verb. Voila, right. Now this is where it gets tough. Let's put two bits together. I get on well with my brother. So this is the verb to get on with and this is the verb to argue with so remember you change this little bit for m to all the answers are up here and all our verb changes are up here and you need to do the my and the family member put me on pause see if you can translate these three sentences bon effort on you alors so let's hear, see how you've got one let's see if you can put the two bits together so i get on well with my brother use the verbs up here so i get on well with you say i get myself on well with which is je <laughs> no which is this whole phrase je m'entends bien avec so je m'entends bien avec and then you need the right my masculine mon and then brother's frère je m'entends bien avec mon frère see what i've done so i myself get on well with my brother he argues with his brother so now you need this verb so come along on the verb table il is he so you say he argues himself il se dispute avec and that's his brother it's not going to be mon think about how it changes mon mame is my ton tate is your son sassé is his or her so it's il se dispute avec son frère right if you've got those two i'm really impressed if you haven't hopefully when i'm explaining it you can see what i'm doing et finalement numéro toi they argue with their brother. So now let's use the masculine. Ils se dispute avec, and this is my brother. This is his or brother. There it goes. Mon mami, ton tate, son sassé, le le le. So it is. Ils se dispute avec le frère. Guys, if you got that one, really well done. Give yourself a mark out of three for this. If it's not out of three, 
don't worry, hopefully after I've explained it, you've now got a better idea. So rewind the video, go back to it and see if you can do this by yourself. If you think you've got it, let's move on to the next thing. Alors mes petits, so those are our three key GCSE must knows. When you get into year 10, you'll be tested on this again. Do you know them? Put me on pause, see if you can answer these questions. If you can, keep watching this video, we'll move on. If you can't, just rewind, study what we've just done and then come back to this point. Alors mes petits, right guys, so we've looked at the grammar and we've matched up this vocabulary, but you have to know this inside out, off by heart to make sure that when you get into year 10, when you do your year 11 speaking exam for your GCSE, you can talk about who you get on with and who you don't. Donc, on a beaucoup à apprendre. Maintenant, il faut écouter moi, il faut répéter après moi, mes petits. On y va. Alors, this is our key phrase for today. I get on well with, it sounds like this. Je m'entends bien avec. Je m'entends bien avec. Je m'entends, je m'entends, je m'entends bien avec. Je m'entends bien avec. Je me confie à. Je me confie à. And then our negatives. The first one. Je ne m'entends pas avec. Je ne m'entends pas avec. Let's speed up. Je ne m'entends pas avec. Je ne m'entends pas avec. And then to say, I go with me, this word, dispute. Je me dispute, dispute avec. Je me dispute avec. Je me dispute avec. Love this word. This is how to say squabble. Two L's together is a sort of Y sound, yeah, when you come to French. This is how you say it. Je me chamaille avec. Je me chamaille avec. Je me chamaille avec. Je me fâche, je me fâche, je me fâche contre. Je me fâche, je me fâche, je me fâche contre. <laughs> je me fâche, je me fâche, je me fâche contre. Et voilà, peu de révision. So, up at the top, I've got all our phrases to say I get on with, I don't get on with. Les Blitz family members, you should know these easy. Alors, je m'entends bien avec. Mon père, ma mère. Mon père, ma mère. Mon beau-père, ma belle-mère. Mon beau-père, ma belle-mère. Mon grand-père, ma grand-mère. Mon grand-père. Ma grand-mère, mon oncle, mon oncle, ma tante, ma tante, mon cousin, ma cousine, mon cousin, ma cousine, mon frère, mon frère, ma soeur, ma soeur, mon frère, ma soeur, mon frère, ma soeur, mon demi-frère, mon demi-frère. Ma demi-sœur. Ma demi-sœur. Ma demi-sœur. Like it's Mia and Molly, eh? Mia and Molly. Alors, ma demi-sœur. <laughs> ma demi-sœur. Et voilà, this is all a bit of revision from Year 7. Here's our family members. You've got to know them. But today, we're talking about not only who we get on with and our family members. Let's describe them and revise our adjective. Il est... Elle est, ils sont, elles sont, il est, elle est, il est, elle est, ils sont, elles sont, je le trouve, je la trouve, je les trouve, je les trouve, je le trouve, je la trouve, je les trouve, total, total, totalement, total, total, totalement, extrêmement, extrêmement, trop, très, Assez un peu. Trop, très, assez un peu. Trop, très, assez un peu. Total, total, totalement. Extrêmement. Trop, très, assez un peu. Easy. Alors donc, les adjectifs du bar. Branché. Branché. Amusant. 
Drôl. Rigolo, rigolo. Rigolo, rigolote. Rigolo, rigolote, rigolo, rigolote. Je le trouve charmant. Charmant, charmant. Optimiste, optimiste. Poli, poli. Curieux, curieuse. Curieux, curieuse. Passion. Passion. Sympa. Sympa. Sympa, sympa, sympa. Alors, il est négatif. Je le trouve, je la trouve, je les trouve. Arro, arro, arrogant. Arrogant, arrogant. Casse-pied. Casse-pied. Ego, ego, égoïste. Égoïste, égoïste. Pessi, pessi, pessimiste. Pessi, pessi, pessimiste. Pénible. Pénible. Pénible, pénible. Alors, mes petits, so, extra challenge today. Extend why you like or dislike someone. So, listen up. Je m'entends bien avec. Parce que. Parce que. On se confie des secrets. On se confie des secrets. On s'échange. On s'échange. Nu vêtement. Nu vêtement. On se réconcile. On se réconcile. Vite, vite, vite. Vite, vite, vite. On se réconcile vite. On se réconcile vite. To help you remember this verb to reconcile this is what you say um back in like old english you say you reconcile together on se réconcile vite alors et maintenant les négatifs donc il elle prend mes affaires il elle prend mes affaires and my favorite for today on se chamaille on se chamaille Alors mes petits, that is all your vocabulary for today. You know how this works. It's here on petit race, but it's against yourself today. On your phones, set like a stopwatch on minute. If you say this qu'il faut faire, il faut dire français, anglais, français, anglais, français, anglais, aussi rapide que possible contre le montre. Donc je vous donne un exemple. Je le trouve à find him. Je le trouve à find her. Je m'entends bien avec. I get on well with. Je ne m'entends pas avec. I don't get on well with. These are tongue twisters today, right? See what you can do. What I want you to do is put me on pause and prepare yourself, okay? And then restart me. I'll count you down and then put me on pause again and time yourself. Alors, mes petits, prepare yourselves. On y va. When you're ready, restart the video. Alors, mes petits, if you hear me now, you are ready. You know all 15. Put all your vocab away. This is meant to test you. I'll count you down from three. Then put me on pause and see how long it takes you to do it. Bon courage, mes petits. Toi, deux, un. Pause me now. Allez. Alors, right, guys. Bon effort là-bas. Mais cette fois, j'ai changé l'ordre. Donc, cette fois, ici, en noir, j'ai l'anglais. Et en bleu, j'ai le français. C'est la même activité. Donc, sur les portables, mettez un minuteur et... Let's see how quickly you can do it. Try and beat your former time. I'll give you 30 seconds now. Put the video on pause. Make sure you know what matches to what. Then restart me. I'll count you down and pause me again and time yourselves. Alors, bon courage mes petits. Préparez-vous maintenant. Alors, right guys, you must be ready to go. Put me on pause in 3, 2, 1. Bon courage. Allez. Et voilà mes petits. Right guys, so, so far. We've looked at the grammar, we've looked at the vocab. What we're going to do now is put it together with some speaking work. Don't put your phones away. You're going to need them for our next few challenges. Et voilà mes petits. Right guys, we're going to be playing le mot pien ou noughts and crosses en anglais tout seul. How do you play noughts and crosses on your own tout seul, Mr. Ennis? Alors c'est facile, c'est contre le montre encore une fois. Donc... Sur les portables, mes petits, mettez un minuteur pour 10 secondes. Voilà, I've got my minuteur en 10 secondes. Voilà, all right, it's counting down. Donc, 10 secondes. 
choose your favorite you can be noughts or crosses and then with 10 seconds on your phone i want you you can use your vocab to help you all on your sheet pick a square then start the timer and you've 10 seconds to say that square if you say it in the time limit you win the square if your alarm goes off you lose it you have to give it to the other team par exemple i'm gonna go for this square here my time is ticking down je m'entends bien avec mon père easy said it well within 10 seconds so i win that square there's my alarm but i was faster than it okay first one down obviously your phone can't have a go so it's my go again and i'm going from bottom right okay i've started 10 seconds is ticking down je m'entends bien avec mon demi frère i'm so good at this look at that two in a row time is going off but i finished ages ago easy so that's what i want you to do this is amber difficulty have a go at this see if you can beat your timer if you can restart the video and we'll go to the next challenge et voilà year eight this is challenge numéro deux alors c'est exactement la même activité mais cette fois vous avez beaucoup plus de choses à dire. So last time we were just up to this full stop. I've added a whole extra sentence. You've still got 10 seconds. It still works exactly the same. Put 10 seconds on and then go for a box. Use your vocab to help you. See if you can translate it. Par exemple, 10 seconds on my time is ticking down. I'm going for the top box. Je m'entends bien avec mon père. Je le trouve optimiste. Done it we go and see my time has gone see how much tired that was that même chose put me on pause you've got 10 seconds for each box we're up to très difficile now see what you can do bon courage on y va alors mes petits hopefully you've beaten your timer twice in a row now i think your your time is going to beat you this is a legend difficulty this is what you need to do mes petits il faut traduire la phrase en Français, attention, I've added for some phrases a little bit extra to make it really, really tough. You can use your vocab to help you at any time for this activity. Put me on pause, 10 seconds on your timer, you know how this works. Bon courage, mes petits, could it be three in a row? Toi, deux, un, allez, on y va, allez. Alors, mes petits, right guys, to finish off, let's put you to the test. Je vais expliquer en français ce qu'il faut faire. Alors, donc, ici, j'ai une grille avec neuf personnes. Vous avez Paul, Perrine, Max, etc. Et ici, vous avez la grille pour les réponses. Je vais décrire quelqu'un en disant les rapports qu'ils ont avec la famille. Il faut, écoutez-moi, il faut écrire le nombre de personnes dans l'espace ici. Donc, je vais dire, je m'entends bien avec, et puis la personne, donc, alors, je vous aide. Je vais dire, la personne qui lui, elle, s'entend bien avec, voilà, et pourquoi, et la personne qui ne s'entend pas bien avec, et la raison pourquoi. Donc, écoutez les six uh, tranches d'information, il faut écrire, écrire le nombre de personnes, ici dans la grille. Alors, bon courage. Et on commence, right guys. So, listen out to who I'm explaining from their family relationships. You can pause me to have a look. You can listen to it again. You can rewind me. It's all down to you. See if you can get all five people. Alors, person numéro un dit. Voilà, person numéro un dit. Je m'entends bien avec ma mère. Je la trouve charmante. Cependant, je ne m'entends pas bien avec ma demi-sœur, que elle est casse-pied. Alors, that was our first one. Have a little look. Et numéro 2 dit Je m'entends bien avec mon père parce qu'il est très optimiste. Cependant, je ne m'entends pas bien avec ma sœur. Je pense qu'elle est arrogante. Alright, two people down. This is numéro 3. 
Passons numéro 3. Il lui dit, je m'entends bien avec mon demi-frère. Il est très curieux, mais je ne m'entends pas bien avec ma demi-sœur. Elle est pessimiste. Okay, three down, c'est person numéro 4 maintenant. Et person numéro 4 dit, je m'entends bien avec mon père. Je le trouve optimiste toujours. Cela si dit, je ne m'entends bien, pas bien avec ma mère parce que elle est arrogant. Alors, et finalement, person numéro 5, mes petits, dit, je m'entends bien avec mon père parce qu'il est curieux. Mais ma mère, en se dispute souvent, je la trouve trop pessimiste. Alors, mes petits, so, have a think, have you got all five answers? If not, feel free to rewind, listen again, see what you've got. I'm gonna go for the answers maintenant. Alors, person 1 était Karim, person 2 était Paul. Person 3 était Elodie, person 4 était Nicolas, et person 5, if you got 4 out of 4, is for a perfect score, Sophie, voilà, right guys, bon effort mes petits, excellent effort today on what is a lot of vocabulary, you know it now, because we've practiced it now, but how well will you remember in a, this in a week, let's set your homework. Right guys, over lockdown, you need to have been developing your independent skills and your homework is one way to massively do that. Memorize has been dead over lockdown and I am I'm appalled at it because you've had all this time, you could easily have been working on your memorize to develop yourself. This is what to do now. You need to spend 20 minutes on memorize, learning our new vocab and then test yourself on it. See if you can fill this in in English. If you can't, you don't know it well enough, get back on, back on Memorize and get practicing. And then over here, we've got a little reading for you about people who they get on with. This shouldn't be too long, this is 20 more minutes, guys. This needs to be complete for next lesson. We will start next lesson of a vocab test, so make sure you're ready. Allo, you're right, bon effort aujourd'hui. I know you're working really hard. Merci, hope this lesson's been good for you. See you next time, à la prochaine fois, au revoir.